Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last year I created one video using which you could get rid of this error that you get in cPanel. But some of the people are still facing some problems as they were not able to delete files. Because I did not cover that method, I just gave them the idea how to do it. But in this video I am going to show you how to delete those files that are causing the 100% file usage error. So here I am inside cPanel and uh, last year it looked a little different but still you need to go inside files and inside files you will see disk usage just click on it once you are inside disk usage it will show you the files that are taking most of the space in your cpanel and you can get rid of some of the files that are not required now here you can see application backups this is where all the backups are saved so if you don't need any of these backups you can go ahead and delete them what you can do is just click on any of these files and then right click and then click on delete after that you get trash and permanently delete the files now hit confirm so this has deleted now i have other backups as well let's get rid of other two as well because i will keep the recent one the recent one is 15th of October. I'll get rid of October 13 and October 7. So again, right click, delete, skip the trash and permanently delete the files. Confirm. Now if you want to delete files from public HTML, click on it and see if there are any files that are not required. Just get rid of those. For me, in the last video I showed you, my emails were taken lot of space right now if you see here is email archive and inside email archive it is zero zero at the moment because i had deleted all the emails that i had which i didn't want so those are gone now but if you uh, take a look at email account if i click on it you will see the accounts taking up the space here is this account and here is another one and if if you see it is 168.05 if I click on manage and then here if I click on free up email storage I'll find the option to delete the emails that I don't need so right now you can see it has this manage function against action just click on manage and from here select one year old or more or all messages just select the options that you want for me, I just want to delete all the messages. So let's click on delete permanently. This will also reduce some space in cPanel. It actually takes some time to calculate and then show the space. So right now I deleted the email account storage as well. This will reflect soon. Here you can see these figures may not reflect recent changes to your account disk usage. So it takes some time but it will be reflecting soon and that message which you get file you say 250 slash 250% this will go away in like 5 minutes. So this was the method to delete. Once again let me go back here is cPanel and inside cPanel you need to go to disk usage inside disk usage you will see all these files and directories see the files that you don't want as i showed you i got rid of application backups because i just wanted to keep the recent one and deleted the other two and then again you can see the other folders that are taking most of the space here is the public html where all the uh, websites are located if you want to take uh, get rid of any of the websites from public html you can go inside this but uh, for me my emails were taking a lot of uh, space so i deleted those so you can do that by going to email accounts so i hope this is now clear if you have any questions let me know i'm here to answer all your questions and if you need fast web hosting i still recommend hostinger i've been using it since two years and it is really working very well for me i don't have any problems like this in hostinger my best discount code is inside the description box and first pin comment if you go through that you will get extra discount while checkout so once again if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing this will help me create more videos like this thank you so much and have a good day bye